So previously we we developed a plugin template and then we created we created a test plugin from plugin template. But currently we have deactivated that one, that test one, because we don't want to share the memory space between the our plugin and this one because so we we are referencing the same uh, same class name and then everything so like currently it's look like php is pointing the same memory space so we delete <coughs> excuse me we delete the plugin that said do you want to delete it yes we we, we want to so we delete the plugin so test plugin and then when you refresh here you shouldn't be seeing any more test plug so currently we'll be doing we'll be stay at the front end so we'll be this tutorial with we'll create the google line chart uh dummy google line chart with we'll load css and javascript from the uh from the from plugin plugin directory so you click on plugin directory and then and then and then click on that for the name and then call access so that's a standard name and then you click you create another folder called css and then you create another folder called gs so select on css and then click on new new file and style.css and then and then the back click on style.css and then you will see it's already open for you so make sure you double click so inside the style.css we will be adding dummy one so we only have i'll see make sure you see it. so we only have h1 element inside our google chart so that mean can we so make it you, you right click and then you close others so that will make it easier to see which files are we at so we only have h1 element inside our view so this is the only element we have html element we have so we still we get we trying to load it and then and then select on javascript folder so select script what the hell are you saying there so give it a name give it a name where are we at javascript give it a name dot js and and in here so we were at only a lot so slopes you already knew that that's why i don't want to type and waste your time or my time so we're we're a lot these two guys when we activate the plugin or when we have activate when we are at our plugin page so now go to the top after the you know after the plugin and a and authorize access check and then you go to the top and then you copy line 22 so we will type so wp and q scripts so that's a wordpress hope style sorry q u e u e r q script style so you so and then you give it a name we you only need two things so give it a name so that's our main css and where do you get your css from plugin url plugin. so that's a wordpress hook and then you give it for the name Access. and then we are in access directory and css in this style or css sorry 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 
and then what is the the top is a five. Okay, okay. Yep. That's better. I think I forgot closing bracket. Make sure you you close the bracket. And otherwise, also if you want to load the JavaScript, copy paste by line twenty five. So WP in Q. So this time we're reloading scripts. Scripts mean JavaScript. And you give it name as above main GS. And where do you, do you get your main GS from? Like in your URL. So we'll be getting from plugin URL and the path. So we'll be getting it from access folder. And GS and then make sure you normally what I did is so I copy F2 rename slash all control A and then paste control V. What's the type? So Okay, I think something on here. That should be here. Sorry. And and now you if you load the if you could if we go back to our our backend. So if you go back to our backend and make sure you activate your plugin. What is the error? Like it's line twenty two. That's good. So that's saying that it's something wrong at line twenty two. We'll check what's wrong with line twenty two. Line twenty two is here. So main CSS yes, that's right. Plug in you are in there. CSS start a CSS okay line twenty two so the reason is it should be plugins so you and then that should be this one should be Q U E U and typing errors typo. Sometimes yeah it is happen so you refresh uh, activate it should be go done. So this is the guy from our JavaScript. So I believe this is the H1 element. We are overwriting it. That's good. So we go inside our plugin and then we voila. So this is our CSS styling. You'll be laughing. What is that? So just in case if you need how to load CSS and JavaScript. So now if you go to if you either Google Google, Google charts or something like that. So you will be you go on this page or you type you type this thing and and select on line chart from the from the side panel. And so you will see it's similar to this one. Currently it's is similar to this one. And then you click on code or it in USF and then you go to the GS filter page. So this is the Google chart. So we they only have two things, so you you copy this line. I mean, from HTML, you copy everything from HTML, and then go back to our plugin one, and go inside Google Line Chart, and then I make sure I paste the same thing. 
green light chart. So we paste at the line number three. So we give it one more line number three. So don't worry about it. Ah, oh, no, not here. Sorry, that's the wrong one. So you go inside, Google view, Google chart of PHP. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sometimes I just I just look at Google chart. That's what happened. Similar file name can give you headache. So we you paste it line three, and then and then we'll copy JavaScript from same. So this is JavaScript. That's a pure. You see the pure JavaScript, and make sure you select on pure JavaScript. Nothing else. So you copy everything. You copy everything from here. Into C. You copy everything and then. So you type a script. Make sure you type it. Close it. You type it close now. And then. In between, I believe line number seven. Yep, yeah, right. So you paste and 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 voila. So you go back. We we'll go back to our backend. So you refresh. Make sure you are on line chart. So this is normal, and then this guy looks annoying. So we got, we got that thing. Okay, that's not what what we want. So you we you go back inside our Google chart of PHP and then this guy. So we are at the here. And then we give it we change the name, title to title to time popularity. Okay. Okay, we stay we stay as it. We do we don't change anything. In here in here we we delete everything else something from here to there and and we don't want we don't want anything we we want we don't want number so you in google chart you you can have three data type which is string number and date i believe yeah so you can be either string or now, if you are using string, make sure you code it in. You put it in another single code. So the string in JavaScript, maybe double code and back shape. And so, so if you change that one, because we we our data type is you know date, but we don't want we don't want we don't want complete date. We only want general general three three digit three letters three characters state so we'll be changing that to you make sure you save it right so you refresh so we'll be changing that guy that's what we got so zero zero one two three okay that's good so you go back here and then you go back inside and then i believe this is for this guy so we what we do is we copy the google chart and then paste this inside our php code and then and then and then we display it and then we we we, we just add the style of css and JavaScript, uh, javascript and then we change this guy to console We don't want we don't want to a lot pop up. It's annoying. Just in case if you need it. So we we load it. We load it. We load the CSS and 
uh, CSS and JavaScript from the plugin directory, and then and then we we display the chart, dummy chart. So next tutorial we'll be adding, we'll be adding the dummy data, and then we'll be we'll be doing that. So keep jump.